For this tutorial, I'm going to use a flowchart template to show you how to edit symbols in your diagram. Select the pointer from the toolbar to select a symbol in your diagram. To resize a symbol, select it, then click and drag one of the handles to the desired size. Rotate a symbol by clicking and dragging the rotate icon. Edit the properties of a symbol using the right-click menu. Properties is at the bottom of the menu. You will see three tabs in the Properties window, Font, Fill, and Line. On the Font tab, you can change the font of the text in the selected object, edit the font size, add emphasis, select a new color, or change the justification. On the Fill tab, remove Fill, change the color of the shape's fill, adjust the opacity, or add a gradient. To change the color, click on the color box. Select from a basic color or click on the Define Custom Colors button for additional options. You can add either a linear or radial gradient. Adjust the direction of the gradient by clicking and dragging the start and end points in the direction window. A stop point is used to define the colors in your gradient. Click on an arrow to select it. The selected stop is highlighted yellow. You can change the color of the stop point by clicking on the color box and selecting a new color. Add a stop point by clicking on the stop bar. Click and drag to adjust the location of the stop point. Select a stop point, then click the delete button to remove it. Use the opacity slider at the bottom of the screen to adjust the opacity of the selected stop point. On the line tab, remove the outline from the symbol. Change the color of the outline by clicking on the color box, adjust the opacity of a solid line, or add a gradient to your outline. The line width, cap type, join type, and dash type options apply to both solid and gradient lines. Click to open the drop-down list and select an option. When a symbol is selected, you can also use the buttons on the toolbar to edit its properties. To edit multiple symbols simultaneously, hold down the control key to select each symbol that you would like to edit. Then, open the properties dialog and make your changes. For more ClickCharts tutorials, visit the address shown on your screen.